Thank you. To the former president of Thomas College, George Spann, to the Thomas College faculty, administration, students, and alumni, to our distinguished guests and dignitaries from Maine and the surrounding academic business and public service communities. To the friends and generous supporters of Thomas and of course to my new friend and colleague, Lori Lachance, and her husband Dave and their family. On behalf of the Thomas College Board of Trustees, especially our board co-chairs Conrad Ayotte and Todd Smith, who deftly guided the Presidential Search Committee to this moment, I would like to welcome you all to this historic day. When the Presidential Search Committee embarked on the journey of identifying Thomas College's fifth president, I believe I'm correct in reflecting that most, if not all, members of the selected team approached this honor with the intention of identifying a finalist who had an outstanding conventional academic background, someone who had all of the traditional markings of what it would take to be a successful college president. So as a selection committee, comprised of administration, faculty, student and board representatives. We rolled up our sleeves. We took the deep dive into an unprecedented over 80 remarkably decorated applicants from around the world, the United States, and of course, right here from Maine. We created a short list of semifinalists, and at the end of the day, we found ourselves migrating back to one candidate one unique candidate, one candidate who could not be compared to any of the others, one candidate who was a true outlier and who embodied the board's vision of the ideal leader to guide Thomas into its next future. This leader possessed the courage of Maine's own Margaret Chase Smith, the first woman appointed to the U.S. Senate in her own right who in 1950 boldly dared to denounce McCarthyism. This was a leader who possessed the pioneering spirit of Amelia Earhart, of course the first aviatrix to fly, fly solo across the Atlantic. This was a leader who possessed the endurance of Jane Benoit Samuelson, whose Olympic and marathon achievements well into her late 40s can be recited by any Mainer, particularly those from Cape Elizabeth. This was a humble leader, like the virtually unknown Emily Warren Roebling, who quietly assumed the work of her ill husband to continue the building and completion of what is now the Brooklyn Bridge. This was a curious leader, sparked to understand and respect Thomas's history, yet promote innovation, like Tabitha Babbitt, the New England shaker who, are you ready for this one, designed the first circular saw from her spinning wheel, and the more contemporary Marissa Mayer, who is leading the business strategy shift in her new role as CEO of Yahoo. This is a leader that respects every resident of Maine who gets out of bed each day to make a living, whether in a rustic or your county, a leader who has demonstrated lifelong commitment to the prosperity of the state of Maine, the people who call Maine home, and of course to Thomas College. And perhaps most important of all, this is a leader who is by her human design, a mentor, a friend, someone who instinctively nurtures whomever is in her presence with the passion and caring of a Maria von Trapp, a passion that no reverend mother could even begin to harness. Our board did not expect to find this courageous pioneer with the power to endure and invent, all with humility and a nurturing spirit and a commitment to Maine roots in one candidate. Never did we expect to capture these qualities and attributes in one being. Yet we did. We did find all of this in the form of, Tom, in the form of Thomas College's next president. Lori Gagnon Lachance. Lori comes to Thomas at a time when global, national, and local leadership in both the public and private sectors is shifting and being redefined. Lori will be put to the proverbial test. 
and it will be because of her uncharacteristic, accomplished differences, and it will be because she is an outlier, that her presidential future, and therefore that of Thomas College, will yield nothing less than enormous success. If you haven't guessed by now, I'm a big fan of Malcolm Gladwell, who authored the book Outliers, The Story of Success. And in that book, he writes, who we are cannot be separated from where we're from. Who we are cannot be separated from where we're from. Lori is from the Pleasant Street Elementary School in Dover Fro Foxcroft. Lori is from Foxcroft Academy and, and from Seta Moshe Middle School. Lori is from Bowdoin College where she achieved her undergraduate degree. And Lori is from right here, Thomas College, where she achieved her master's. A significant part of who Lori is, is Thomas College. And she has returned to this very special place from which as, Norman, as Malcolm Gladwell would say, she can never be separated. Please join me in welcoming President LaChance home 